Hello and thanks again for watching. In this video we're going to talk about the tools section right here and um, kind of like your plugins you can import, export, upgrade. You can do different things with the tools and the two tools it comes with is called gears and press this. I'm not going to really get too much into specifically what these do other than gears um, kind of helps with the speed and um, operation of your site especially if you've got uh, an operation that could potentially bog down computers if you've got a huge site with a lot of content a lot of dynamic things going on um, gears is a tool to help manage that and then press this is actually a tool that helps you basically add content to your site on the fly while you're going through the web so for example uh, and I have no idea if he does or not but uh, Perez Hilton, for example, the um, Hollywood blogger, uh, you know, I imagine that a lot of his content comes from him searching the web and going to different sites and finding these pictures. I mean, that's what he's admitted. Uh, Press this would basically serve as a tool to help you capture links, capture images, and things of that nature, and integrate it into your own blog here um, with with a little bit more ease than uh, doing it manually. If you go to the import link, okay, I'll just read to you what the WordPress has at the top. I mean, a lot of times they say it best. If you have posts or comments in another system, WordPress can import these into this blog. To get started, choose a system to import from below. So Blogger, for example, like with Google, uh, that's a really popular one. Let's say you've got this huge blog that you've done. You've spent a lot of time on it, and uh, yeah, here you are making a new blog, and you want to bring in those that content somehow. Well, you can, and it totally allows you just what it says, tools to integrate content from other blogs that you have into this one. And, uh, you know, it's a really great way to increase your network of content, you know, get links um, going back and forth to your sites, and of course those links are going to be going back and forth to content. So, <clears throat> just depending on whatever uh, software you've used, okay, you just select the one here, import posts from an RSS feed, okay, uh, very, very cool way to automatically create posts because uh, RSS feeds, that's what they do, they deliver content kind of on a uh, daily basis depending on the RSS feed. Your export link, this is very cool because, uh, you know, when you basically when you talk about an RSS feed, it is a file in XML format that takes all the content of your database, all the structure of your posts, your categories, your pages, all of that, um, comments, custom fields, categories, tags, everything, and puts it into a nice package and generates a URL. And if anybody takes that URL and puts it into their site, it's going to deliver all of your content, um, which of course, as you can imagine, that could be a, a huge help to your site. But again, I'm just kind of on the tools here, mostly reading to you what WordPress says anyway. Uh, when you click the button below, WordPress will create an XML file for you to save to your computer. This format, which we call WordPress Extended RSS or WXR, will contain your posts, pages, comments, custom fields, categories, and tags. Once you've saved the download file, you can use the import function to another WordPress, WordPress blog to import this blog. So basically what that's saying is, um, let's say this is blog B, okay, and on blog A, I've done this step, and I click download export file. Well, I could go to the other blog and import an RSS feed, which is what that would be, and now all of a sudden the blogs are feeding off each other which is a very very cool automated way to have your com your content that you've worked hard on one site to duplicate itself on another without having to manually go in and copy and paste all those pages and lastly is the upgrade button and this is really convenient because uh... you know wordpress is an open source system and i am a huge fan of open source software simply because it is not driven by corporate giants who have stockholders they're trying to satisfy and they're trying to push a product for a fee. This is a system and a platform made by webmasters, made by a community <coughs> for webmasters, for a webmaster community. And so you can click this upgrade button and um, you're going to want to do this often because 
just like anything else, things are always improving, all right? And WordPress is another one of those things. So uh, when you click this, obviously, when we did this, or when I did this video, uh, it says you have the latest version of WordPress. You do not need to upgrade. Um, if you didn't have the latest version, it would tell you to upgrade and it would give you the options to download the new one or you can reinstall the one or the current platform that you have. And again, keeping up to date on the latest version of your platform is going to be important um, because, you know, it's, it's just a fact that the hackers and the spammers are always trying to do something new, find a new way, be more malicious, and of course, um, the good forces in nature trying to keep your platform solid in the WordPress community they're always trying to combat that they're always trying to combat spam they're always trying to keep your site more secure where the spammers and the hackers are always trying to hack into your site and so it's this constant struggle and a natural consequence of that is newer versions all the time so keep up with your latest version what I will say is that uh, before you upgrade anything go and make a backup of your database and um, I'm not really going to show you how to do that in this video it's outside the scope of talking about your tools <clears throat> but that is just a prudent thing to do the reason why is because this is such an open-ended and flexible system um, obviously WordPress and really nobody can fully imagine all the endless combinations of plugins. I mean, there's thousands of plugins alone, uh, posts, comments, the media, the code that you place in there. There's no telling what could be done that might cause a bug, all right? Uh, the WordPress platform is so stable right now that, you know, it's very rare to happen. However, it could be easily something you did inadvertently um, and the way to avoid anything being lost or uh, anything like that is just to simply make a backup of your site before you actually upgrade it and that is probably going to be your cheapest insurance policy because if for some weird reason something bad or catastrophic does happen there's no need to fear you've got a backup of your site and you can get back to where you were otherwise if you don't take the you know five minutes to back up your site and somewhere to go wrong uh, you, you know you might be in a really really tough spot so can't stress that enough. I, I really heart big on one video about backing up your database and your site, especially <clears throat> before you do something major like upgrade. Even though they make it very easy and seamless, um, make a make a backup of your site before you actually go through those steps, and um, you know you'll you'll always protect yourself. So that concludes this video, and uh, I appreciate you watching.